Long time no see. As you can see, I am not in San Diego right now. I'm actually back in Bali. I got back last week, I wanna say on the 24th of November, and I'm so happy to be back. I'm actually really excited to also put content back on YouTube again because it's been almost two years and I really haven't had that inspiration or that passion like I used to, but I feel it immediately when I come back to Bali. And um, I'm actually gonna show you guys what I do throughout the day while I'm here. So I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna hang out. So it's super early in the morning. I still work on US time, um, but what I like to do before I start my day is get some coffee or some tea so that I can stay awake. Uh, I've been dealing with like a sinus infection for the last week or so, so I'm gonna do some lemon ginger tea this morning and then I'm gonna start my day. <laughs> Some days I'll cook breakfast, but on days where I'm just moving a little bit slower, I'll order breakfast. And today I just ordered from this place called Rise and Shine. Yummy. So I ordered bruschetta uh, toast with sesame hummus and two poached eggs. And then got my coffee here. I have about two more meetings and then the day can start <laughs> officially. my last meeting up at work and it's almost 10 30 i need to finish putting on my makeup i'm about to go to a photo shoot for a local brand skincare brand and shoot some photos um this is for a brand called raw skin club um it's like a mixture of like butters lotions soaps moisturizers all those good things so I'm really excited um, I haven't actually shot any photos in a while so this should be interesting and then I think after that I need to go grocery shopping I'm gonna meet up with one of my friends and then probably gonna do some more work let's go to the photo shoot and then let's see where the day takes us a little highlight All right, got some highlight on. I just did a nice light makeup look today because obviously you don't want to put on a lot of makeup for a skincare brand, so. Yeah, all right, let's go. All right, got my helmet. The place is like 15 minutes away and I'm already late, so I kind of got to see just a little bit. start to crash a little bit um, just because I've been up since 4 o'clock and I've been using my brain a lot I've been moving around a lot and all that good stuff I just finished answering some emails and um, now I'm going to head to a birthday party slash showcase and then maybe meet up with another friend for dinner hopefully I don't like just completely want to like tap out in the middle of all of it but hopefully this cold shower does the trick and then hopefully I can just come back home and decompress and just, you know, take it easy. I hope you guys find this very entertaining or very fun. I'm, of course, taking you guys with me to the art showcase and um, wherever else I go today. So, let's go. Guys, I just got a very special delivery and I'm so excited to open it because it is 
Oh wait. <laughs> So I just got all my stuff out of storage. I want to say like five days ago, but it smelled so bad, like like storage. And I just could not bring myself to go through it. And I just like took the whole suitcase and was like, can y'all wash this? Like everything in there. And I just got it back, including my shoes, just including everything. I'm so excited. I'm ready to go through it, get rid of some stuff, unpack some stuff that I've been missing for a long time. And yeah, finally have some more clothes to wear. Oh my gosh, my pins went through the wash. This pin, I actually got this during my first solo trip to Amsterdam and it's kind of a corny phrase on it. It says, happy new me, but it just, I don't know. It symbolizes so much to me and I think I'll always keep it, even if it is a little rusty. So I just got home finally and I'm so excited because as you can see in the video, my day starts at 4 a.m. and I'm just so ready to go to bed. But thanks guys for coming with me throughout my day. Today I would say it's like kind of a typical day. There's some days where I just stay in my villa all day and just work. And there's other days where I just run errands all day nonstop and I never see home. Uh, but I would say today is like a nice balance of both of those days. And uh, yeah, I guess before I leave, I wanted to talk about my decision to come back to Bali and kind of what prompted it. Nothing really elaborate. Just number one being that I hadn't traveled in 20 months, which is a pretty long time if you ask me. And I really missed, I really missed Bali. Like Bali's my second home, self-declared second home. And you know, I just missed my friends and my community and the places that I used to go to. So I think 20 months is a, is a good amount of time to be away from those things before you know you kind of take the leap and go back to it. Um, the second reason just being that when I was in the States, um, I really did enjoy my time, but there was like kind of like a balance of where I was working a lot and not really enjoying myself enough. And I wanted to kind of like even out those things and you know, work and play hard as anyone should, right? Now I am uh, on a different visa than I normally am. Usually under normal circumstances, I would have got the visa on arrival, which requires visa runs and all those things. But this time I'm on a B211A visa, which is a visa you apply for um, outside of Indonesia. And then uh, you can renew it up to like, I wanna say four times. And for up to uh, six months. Don't quote me on that, actually just look it up. It's B211A if you're considering coming to Bali. Um, it was a whole process and I did have to quarantine. Lucky for me, it was only two days and at the time of making this video, it is now 10 days, which is insane. But at the same time, I understand that, you know, what we're dealing with is pretty serious and, you know, people have to do what they have to do to keep their people safe and to make sure they're in good health but I'm hoping that things just overall get better for everyone. Let me know if you have any uh, video ideas in the comments. I'm open to hear about whatever you wanna learn about when it comes to Indonesia, the digital nomad lifestyle, any feedback, comments, questions, leave them down below. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel out so much. Leave a comment, like this video, and make sure you turn on your post notifications so you know when I post. I'm gonna try to stay on a schedule, that way you can expect a video on a certain day, but we'll see how that goes. Um, make sure you also follow me on Instagram because I post daily stories there about like my experience and just some of the interesting things that I see on a day-to-day -day basis. And yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm really tired. <laughs> 
Um, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.